This is how I never die in any attack raid while also dealing tons of damage to the attack titan in AOT Revolution. But before we do that, I want you to like, share, and subscribe and join my Discord because I'm giving away 150 spins to two people and with more giveaways on the way. So today is finally the day that I will teach you step by step how to survive any raids while also doing a lot of damage. So we'll be going through the equipment requirements that you'll need for the attack raid, what type of skills you need to make sure you never die, the best perks you can use in the attack raid, and what stats you should roll in your artifacts. First let's talk about the actual equipment grade that you'll need to complete the raids. To complete the raids, you're gonna have to deal at least 5% damage to Eren. And this grade over here does not mean that you can actually complete the raid. You're gonna need a much higher equipment grade. Now, to make sure that you actually hit the 5% minimum damage for the attack rate, you're gonna need to upgrade your equipments to B-. As for severe, you might actually need an A- minus grade. While for Eren, you'll need a maxed out ODM gear. Now if you're thinking about soloing Aberrant or Severe, then only do that if you have the attack serum. If you don't have the attack serum, go for group raids. Now that that's out of the way, what is the best family you can actually use in the attack raid? Now I have legendary family Rice. The passives it provides are not that beneficial for me during the raid and also it does not have any healing skills. For Rice, Conquer is the only skill without shifting that is actually useful in the raid. But even then, I've never failed protecting Eren with a group of randoms. So I really don't think Rice is actually a good family for the attack rate now what about ackerman shiki and fritz now even the average odm player with any of these families will destroy the attack titan simply because of the amount of damage that they're dealing now because of the buffs that they have received after the update while yeager is also very useful in the raids if you have the attack titan now for the epic families you should actually swap rice if you do have rice for any epic family with a shifter region and if you do not have any epic families bronze is actually a better option because of its potato healing skills although if you do get injured a lot you should definitely use shifter region because playing with injuries suck now with this build you can actually go ahead and put some mods like injury prone and fog so that you can get a little bit of luck boost while you're doing the raid now let's go over to the skills tab and i'll tell you what skills you need to unlock to never die in the attack rates now in the skills tree the left side is called the support skill tree and i actually chose the left path Altogether, it provides me an hp region of eight percent it also provides me the final upgrade of the bandages allowing me to carry three bandages each healing 58 HP and treats ribcage head injuries eyes and limb it also gives me a portable resupply where i can just fill the resupply station and just refill my gas from there instead of going all the way to my base i actually have this equipped along with some other skills which i'll talk about in a second now the middle skill tree is the offense skill tree and i chose the left path but you can choose the right path if you want it's up to you i have little tempo in my skill set other than that i have nothing else i also have shift region because it can heal two injuries and then on the right side is the defense skill tree and I actually chose the left side of the skill tree because I can equip hardy counter and some damage reduction from the skill tree. You can go to the right side of the support skill tree and unlock emergency relocation if you have the bros family. But I don't really use emergency relocation because it has the same cooldown as shift the region and it doesn't make any difference which one I use. So I just use shift the region because it can heal and it also heals to injuries. Now with that being said, let's move on to the perks. Now I have a full legendary perk set and most people won't have this. But you can also swap them with some downgrade epic perks for offense i'm using unparalleled strength which increases my damage by 22 percent for my core perk i have wind rhapsody because my build is the critical build then i have gear master as my support perk for my defense perk i have font of vitality all of this makes me pretty much immortal in the raids going over the artifacts i actually chose to get critical chance because i'm a critical build user i don't really use my skills that much other than shift the region and bandages so i have critical chance you can use cooldown reduction if you want but i really don't use a lot of skills against Eren. My prestige memories are Life Feed and Stalwart. I chose Stalwart because I really didn't have any good memory to choose, so you can choose something else if you want. Also, if you're a Titan Shifter, then you should definitely use the memory that increases your damage per Titan kill. So now the raid starts and you have to protect Eren till you kill off all the Titans. Now for defending Eren, you really don't need to spread out that much and I think going for the furthest Titans are the easiest because they're always facing Eren so you can just go behind them and hook and kill them off. Also, if you're planning to use mods obo might be a better choice for you because nightmare might be too fast injury prone and fog also is a good choice now while Eren is roaring, if you get close to it you will get stunned and trying to hit him right after he roars might get you a fist on your face so you should try giving him back shots on his nape 
Now hitting anything other than the nape deals about 20% less damage, so try to hit the nape more often. Now the skulls appearing on Eren's bodies are vulnerable spots. You'll be dealing a lot more damage there, so try to hit them also. Now when he's stunned, you have to attack him as fast as you can, or even, even if he's not stunned, you still have to keep the same momentum like I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now and what you should be doing is hooking the nape repeatedly and hitting his nape, and as soon as you hit the nape, press your S key two times to push yourself backwards and repeat that again. Now since my portable resupply is also here, I really don't have to move around that much. Now this is a non-shifter guide and if you are a shifter, I'm sorry I cannot help you that much because I really don't have much information about shifting. This guide is purely for ODM users because they are severely weak compared to a Titan user unless they have Fritz or Ackerman or Shiki. And that's why I'm making this build to help the average player. Now once you have completed the raid, it lets you choose between two chests, Emperor chest and normal chest. Now using your Emperor's key on hard mode is a waste save your keys so that when you actually reach severe you can use all your keys with this build you should be able to get about 20 percent even on aberrant if you're good enough and that is all you need to know to survive an attack rate make sure to like share and subscribe and join my discord because i'm giving away 150 spins to two people and i'll see you in the next video